Welcome to the World Cup show. And today, Group F was decided as a decision day for Group F as every groups are running up to show the teams that are going to officially qualify for the next round, which is the round of 16. The two games were being played simultaneously, and the reason why these games are played simultaneously is just for fairness. Every team um, have a chance of qualifying just to avoid any, uh, you know, for people think other teams are cheating. The games are played simultaneously, which is pretty fair though. So, but I will start with the game between Morocco versus Canada. Morocco defeated Canada by two goals to one. And that game was not surprising that Morocco is going to win that game after the amazing performance by defeating Belgium by two goals to nil. The Moroccans trying to show people in the group and in the world that they are here in this World Cup to make a statement and they were not going to be a pushover side and they showed it by defeating Canada by two goals to one. Then you go to the other group which was the other game which was very very interesting because it, that group actually was the, going to be the decider of who was going to qualify next in that group in Morocco which is Croatia versus Belgium. That game ended 0-0, but oh my goodness, there were so many chances in that game that if you just watch the game, you can't really understand like how did that game end goalless? It's still, I still can't understand how it happened, especially for Belgium. Lukaku missed like five chances. And then the first half, when Lukaku did start, I personally, for one, was wondering like, why would uh, the coach don't bring in Lukaku? Because this game is a do or die for Belgium. Belgium has to win this game to qualify. If the because Croatia just needed a draw to move to the next stage, it was Belgium and needed three points because Morocco has already been there, beaten them already, so they've lost one. Lukaku didn't play in the first half, so when he came in the second half, I'm like, finally. Lukaku is gonna play and you know Belgium is gonna go through but all the chances fell to Lukaku when he came he could not even score or convert one including him here in the post and to be honest this Belgium side has been uh, I wouldn't say a disgrace but this is a disaster for them because prior to this World Cup Belgium were also tipped to win this World Cup because if you check the FIFA rankings the Belgium national team is number two in the FIFA ranking, so basically, they are the second best FIFA ranked team in the world. What do you expect from a second FIFA ranked team? They have the best players, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Lukaku, uh, Rusko, you know, just to name a few. They have so many talents in that team, and they call them the golden generation of players. But this has actually been the golden generation of failures because they have failed all every tournament they have played. They have been favored to move on to win it. But and I think the good generation is over because now they are not old. And you know, and I know a lot of overhauling is gonna take place because you know this same team I've tried so many times and I've not been able to break through. I uh, know the coach also uh, uh, is gonna be fired and his contract is over, so it's gonna be a brand new um, management or brand new team that's gonna take over the Belgium national team with new players, new coaches, definitely new ideas, because whatever ideas they have had over a couple of years, it would never seem to have developed amazing players. As a collective and a team, it hasn't worked. But if you not check the table, which is the interesting part I really wanna talk about, like before this World Cup, who would have ever thought or ever believed that Morocco was going to top the group that Croatia and Belgium was going to be in. I know Canada, but like Canada, Canada is not very good. They don't really have a, a proper track record in the world, so you know. But to top the group where Belgium and Croatia is, first of all, Croatia came out second in the last World Cup. France defeated them in the final. So the Croatian team, a lot of people don't really talk about them, but the Croatian team is a very dangerous team. They are very good, extremely good. And they have shown in time without number. I think that Croatian team is really going to go far in this tournament because of how, how they play with the Kramatric, which is their, their, their talisman in the middle. But the Moroccans, among all odds, finished with seven points. 
Like it's so amazing. Making Morocco the second African com um, country to qualify for the next round of 16, which is very interesting. Followed by Croatia that now has five points behind Morocco to, the, to qualify and Belgium with four points. The, it's so sad the way the Belgium are gonna leave because you know, um, it's a sad day for, for, for Belgium players and people of Belgium because this team had so much hope, so much prospect. But you know, that's how the beautiful game goes. It can go any other way in Group F. So thank you, that was the roundup for Group F. I'll be back with the roundup of the other group as we count down to the finals of Qatar 2022. Thank you for watching, and I'm back with more analysis of the next group. Bye.